<laughs> you trying to catch Jaffy? Can you throw it for Abby? Oh, <laughs> I think I, oh, thank you. Clever ghetto. Will mommy kick it? Will mommy kick it? Yeah? Okay. Can we kick it for Abby? Maybe? Whee! Alina, what are you waiting today? Have you got your new welly bits on? See them? Oh wow, look at them. Elsa and Anna, don't you look beautiful? Yeah? You need them for that wet grass, don't you? Morning friends, another beautiful day in paradise. Or <laughs> actually another rainy day in Scotland. We are out taking the dog out. Um, Elena actually didn't wake up till 9.30 this morning, which was great for me. Um, because I've got a day off, so I had a nice long lie-in, which was lovely. Hiya! Um, so that's us just out taking the dog, and then we're going to go back up for some breakfast in a second. You want to put Abby's lead on? I know, you need to keep your head on, because it's rainy. This time, Elena's got her milk, her water, and she's watching some YouTube. Um, for breakfast she's having some Rice Krispies with a little bit of whole milk and a little bit of Greek yogurt that we had to use up. And the Rice Krispies I use are these free from puffed rice from Nature's store and it's literally just puffed rice with nothing else, no nasties added. And I'm going to add a little bit of pureed apple and pear that I took out of the freezer last night. And this little one's getting impatient but it's just coming little one, it's coming! Elena is loving this and she's almost demolished it. As you can tell, she's getting quite mm, excited for it. Is that yummy? Yeah? The yogurt makes it like nice, thick, almost like porridge consistency. And I am actually having porridge. Okay, Mom. Oh, I'm here. I'm sorry. There you go. Good girl. Yummy? Is that yummy? Yeah. Okay. And I'm actually having porridge, but it's this oh so simple cup of porridge. It's apple and blueberry, just add hot water. And I actually bought this for work, um, but I thought I'd try it on my day off today just to see what it's like. Um, but I thought it'd be handy to take into work because all you do is add boiling water to a mug. Um, so it's just setting just now, um, and then I'll try it and let you know what it's like. Now I also have an English breakfast tea made with unsweetened almond milk and that. And that is breakfast, isn't it? Yummy? Mmm. Verdict on the cup of porridge, it's pretty good. I think I made it a little bit thick, so I would maybe add a little more water next time, but it's nice. It is sweet though. And now Elena's eating some toast. She completely demolished her Rice Krispies, and now she's on to a slice of lightly buttered toast. Yummy. And Abby is finally eating up her cornflakes, aren't you? Yummy? <laughs> good, get it. Is that? <laughs> Look how pretty with your little bow in. Mommy needs to get ready now. Careful with my glasses. So time for me to get ready. So next time you're going to see me, I will be ready for the day. Three, two, one. So that's me ready for the day. I really wish it took me three seconds, but actually um, I've got my getting ready routine down to a fine art now. So if you want to see how I do my mummy makeup in five minutes, it used to take me around 15 to 20 minutes to do my makeup, but now I've got it down to five minutes. So if you want to see how, um, how I do that, then let me know in the comments below. Now she's lying kicking her legs, and she's absolutely obsessed with watching Peppa Pig on YouTube. So we're watching a little bit of Peppa Pig, having a snack. Probably tell we are moving. It's quite scary, but we have sold our place. So everywhere you look, there are boxes half filled with stuff, aren't there? So we're moving out in about three weeks, which is actually really terrifying because we don't have somewhere else to go. So we're moving out and we're moving in with my mum and dad, bless them. But um, yeah, we've got a million things to do. So I'm thinking today we're gonna have a casual 
relaxing day but I think we'll go to B&M's and try and get some more bubble wrap because I used so much of it last night wrapping things up. Okay, I wrapped up a load of canvases last night so this one is this one is our wedding canvas. If you can see that through the through the bubbles. Yeah, so I definitely need to pick up some more of that. So I think that's something that we might do today. Do you want to go shopping? After we take Abby out again? After your snack? Yeah, mummy's got lots to do. Going out for a walk kind of seemed like a good idea. What do you think? I know, we're kind of committed to it now, aren't we? Jeez, oh, we're gonna be soaked. Just as well, I changed into my Abercrombie parka, which is gonna keep me nice and dry. Just leaving B&M's, it is currently stopped raining, but it has been pouring. Elena is nice and cozy and falling fast asleep, though. I don't know if you can see her there, but she's nice and cozy, but we've had our lunch and we're on our way home. Hey, so we are back from our rainy expedition. Um, it was absolutely pouring and I got kind of soaked, but actually now that we've got back home the sun's come out, which is kind of typical. Elena is still fast asleep in her pram. One of the reasons we're moving is we live in a flat, so bumping her up those stairs was not really an issue when she was a newborn, but she's getting pretty heavy now. So bumping her up about 25 stairs is a bit of a workout for me, but she's fast asleep in her room. I'm just monitoring her on the baby monitor. She's not in her cot, she's still in her pram. Um, but that will just pick up any noise when she wakes up. But I just thought I would give you a really mini overview of what we bought and just do a mini haul. So like I said, the reason we went out was for bubble wrap because we're moving. So I got basically as much bubble wrap as would fit under the pram. So that's kind of boring. But we got a few other things from B&M's as well. Um, actually, when I was going past these, they had a Peppa Pig pair, which were unfortunately too big for her. Um, and she pointed them out and she's like, Peh which is what she calls Peppa, and I was like, oh, so I gave her the pyjamas, but I managed to convince her to swap them for a couple other ones that were more her size. So these are 18 to 24 months. She's four, nearly 15 months now, actually. So these are Sweet Dreams Mini, and they're just um, short-sleeved PJs. We also got some Frozen ones with Elsa and Anna, and on the trousers as well, and these are short sleeves too, and these are also, these are actually 12 to 18 months, which is her age right now. So these, the Elsa Anna ones were 4 99 The mini ones were 3 99 You checking it out, Abby? What do you think? And then 3 99 also for these um, 101 Dalmatian ones, which say Puppy Love, which are really cute, and they have little paws on the PJ bottoms, and these are in 18 to 24 months as well, so I couldn't really resist those. The reason Abby's getting so excited is because I did pick her up a bunch of Dog treats, these are sweet potato and chicken wraps. She absolutely loves these deli delights. And she's really fussy with dog treats, so I don't know, these must actually taste like meat. I also got her these chicken and rice dumbbells, and she's already had one, which is why she's performing for the camera. Um, in a minute, you can have another one. And also got her some little real duck meat duck bones. I'll maybe give her one of those because they last a little bit longer and these are chicken rolls. So sorry if that was kind of boring, but if you have a dog, it's worth trying these out because they're only 99 pence each um, and she really, really likes them. I also picked a couple of these up for dinner um, for me and my husband. He absolutely loves the cream of tomato soup, but this is cream of tomato soup with Spanish chorizo. I've never seen this before and we both love chorizo, so I got two of them. I think they were 39 pence each. They were on special offer. And oh, Abby, I got you something else. Elena picked this one. I actually picked a pink and sparkly one, which she threw on the floor, and she picked this one. So, yeah, it's about time you need, got a new dog collar, and this one was only one ninety nine from B&M's. So that was good. And the final thing I got was, she's never actually had these before. When I got out, I realised I hadn't packed her water, which was really stupid of me. Um, so I picked one of these up because she was asking for water, and I didn't have any. I felt really bad. So I wouldn't usually give her fruit juice, because it's not great for her teeth, but as it went off, it's okay. So also after we went for lunch, I didn't vlog lunch, sorry, because they sat us right in the middle of the restaurant and it was kind of bad enough that Elena kept throwing her food on the floor. So I didn't vlog that part, but we went to a local cafe and Elena actually did a lovely drawing. Well, 
I think it's lovely because I'm her mother, but it's more or less a scribble. So they give her like something to draw on and it's actually for me it's kind of a big deal that she can actually draw and doesn't just eat the crayon now. So she's definitely coming along that way. Um, but I then went into a shoe, a shoe store um, and I'll just quickly show you what I got for Alina. So you saw earlier in the vlog that she has a frozen um, welly boots but I also wanted to get her more like proper boots and these are like faux suede but they're waterproof and they are patent at the front and they have a kind of stretchy bit to pull on um, but these are also kind of like a welly boot on the bottom but they're a little bit smarter for more just boots for over the winter and um, so I picked these up for her in a size 4 she was fast asleep so I haven't had a chance to try them on but I'm hoping they should be okay because Clark's measured her feet if you saw my last baby haul as a 4G so these should be fine and these were reduced to 12 50 which was half price which was great. The store was called Smith's um, but actually they gave me an Intersport bag so I'm thinking they may have been bought over by Intersport which I guess is a sport shop but they did have some other non-sport type shoes as well. I also wanted to get her a pair of proper sold smart shoes, especially for church and for with her little pretty dresses. So I picked these ones up. They also had a couple of other really nice pairs, but not in her size. So these are a size four and these ones were 18 pounds, which is a little bit dearer, but um, I wanted something that would be comfortable for her to walk in, but still look really nice with her pretty dresses. So that was what I picked up randomly. Um, I'm dangerous going to any shops. I cannot come out of a shop without buying something. So yeah that always happens but I just thought I'd share with you and now I'm going to do as much bubble wrapping as I possibly can before Elena wakes up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 